Ashley, how are you doing? I am very well, John. Yourself? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Excellent. Scar- good to hear. Oh, Scarface, Jaws. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, The Thing, Alien. Is this is this a Bruce Lee movie at the top? I can't I can't make this one out. Oh, uh, we've got uh, Jaws. We've got Rocky. Rocky. Uh, we've got Amityville, Exorcist. There's all sorts going on here behind me. This Love is it. my Love corner it. of uh, of of our lounge at home. The other <laughs> end has got nothing to do with me. So <laughs> very minimalist. Very minimalist. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Um, congrats on the film, first of all, my friend. I, uh, I've i obviously watched it this week. And um, obviously making this for a studio is, is clearly far uh, removed from your debut fe- f- uh, feature, which was crowdfunded. And, and, and obviously the last one that you made, Anna and the Apocalypse, back in, what, 2017 now. So I, I was curious to know... Um, Obviously, you have to be pretty resourceful with low-budget filmmaking. Um, what did you learn, um, you know, during during that time that helped you, um, you know, working now within the studio system and on a bigger picture? Was there some, something in particular that springs to mind for you? No, nah, man, like, you know, like, you know, the... We're all films, you never have enough time, never have enough money. Like that's just the the way the way of it. Like um the the sort of um like the set and how all that runs and like you know and and, and like none of that changes, you know. For me, like I was I was really nervous about um uh, working with a foreign crew with this like thick Glaswegian accent, you know, just gonna have people like glazing over going like what's this guy saying? Like, you know, uh, and 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 obviously like communication is like such a, a key part to my job. And I was I was really nervous and worried about that. But like that, like I worked with this Canadian crew and they were incredible. They were just like the, the loveliest nicest hard-working like talented bunch i've ever met honestly i i loved them the yeah, absolute bits and um and as i said like so like you know that's that's filmmaking you know and and, and like you know i've I, having having the opportunity to work in the studio system i've like i've learned a lot i've learned loads you know and and, and hopefully taking that forward just like everything I don't think, I hope I never stop learning. Like, you know, as a filmmaker, I always want to be continuing to grow and develop and and, and, and learn because I still feel I'm very young in my career and, and very early and, and I just want to, you know, always continue to grow and having opportunities like this is, is always just going to hopefully keep me going like that. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think you're right. You're still young in your career. I know obviously Ken Loach is just retiring and he's, what was he, 80 nine or something and he's he's cracking on so uh there's plenty of years left in you yet i think yeah, 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 totally, um, totally. <laughs> <laughs> were you already aware of um adam ellis's um twitter uh thread um you know when the opportunity to to direct um dear david came through no totally so when uh um i came across i came across what was happening not on twitter it was like one of those like um, the scariest things on the internet you must read. You know, like one of those, like, oh, like, you know, clickbait, you know, like, I'll click on that. Um, <laughs> uh, found it and was kind of like, like I suffer from sleep psychosis. So like um, uh, I, that bit hooked me, you know, and, and um, I sort of done a wee bit of stalking on the guy and all that to be like, like, I, like I've got to detective this guy and be like, is he even talking nonsense? And, and like, it, what I found from him and following him is he's like this funny, sarcastic, satirical, you know, comic book artist. It just, this story didn't feel like it, like it would have came from him, you know, like some up and coming writer who's like studied at, you know, you know, university, you know, something like that. Like, you know, someone like that, you know, would come up with this little, this horror story. And that's what kind of, again, made me go, well, maybe this is maybe this is actually happening to this guy, and as I said, hooked me right in. So when the script landed on my desk, I was like, "I know this. I remember this. I was there." <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's funny to. Uh, I, I just wondered as well. I was you saying that you know really um, it hit a chord with you because you you know you you have have this uh, kind of sleep sort of um, um, paralysis and, and and stuff. Did it cross your mind at the time? that maybe this this would be something that you, you you'd like to develop or was it nothing more than obviously just a um a, you know passionate uh, interest in someone else's work 
No, no, no. Like, like when when I first read it, like as I said, like I just sort of got you know got into it and you know and, and followed them and and you know um would would tune in for like what was happening next. But like after that, like you know, I kind of forgot all about it until the, the script came to me. Um, and the script was uh, written by Mike Van Way. He was actually like he was writing it at the time. You know, like you know, following mm. it along, and 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 then um uh you know uh came up with like a, a mad twist ending and you know then it went off and did what it did and then landed back up with BuzzFeed and they wanted to get it going. So you know it was it was one of those ones. It'd been sort of floating about for a wee while the script. So um I wanted to talk a little bit um about um how the film was shot. Um and I, I just wanted to reference that very first Twitter um uh, line that was typed this is my apartment is being haunted by the ghost of a child and he's trying to kill me now that as a reader is really gripping stuff but when you then think about computers in movies and it, it can be really quite difficult to um convey any kind of real sort of tension or or, or, or urgency um how did you approach shooting those scenes? Because I did think that they were pretty impactful um, in the in the way that you've 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 got them in the in the can. Like like a lot of this all just came, like a lot of it came from Augustus. If I'm you know like obviously like you know me and Stephen you know we pulled over images. We both love color in our frames, but like like it's just like a lot of it's a guy in an apartment. Like you know what I mean? And it's and that's that's Augustus that's that's gripping you. It's him that's doing that. He's like he and he really threw himself into this role as well because he suffers from sleep paralysis and um it had gone through like this like this whole trauma and and, and it just sort of like it healed and it, when he read the script and it came to him, it was like at a point where like he was like like I like I see bits of me in this and like I really have to do this and he he's a, a big believer in ghosts and spirits so like he just threw himself into this and and right at it and I um I think a lot of the the the, the film obviously like is going to live or die by him and I think it's like yeah. a lot of gripping this is him and the character of Adam Ellis is the thing that that as I say that sort of that drew me into it so. I was always hoping that it, he was going to carry you through it because he's not like the traditional protagonist, as I say. He's kind of in your face, sarcastic, funny, you know. Um, and and that's as I say, what I, I think keeps keeps you gripped right, right all through all. Yeah, that. absolutely, because he's entirely relatable. You know, he's he he struggles to, um, you know, get to grips with the fact that his partner is like constantly saying he loves him, and he's kind of not sure how to respond and. It, he's it, that's that's what makes him so relatable as you say he's a very very um human and, and we can see uh a lot of us uh you know a lot of ourselves um, um in in his character um speaking of characters uh you had um justin long and trisha black um uh in the cast and they are for me uh cheeky little scene stealers whenever they're on the screen um much giggling and um you know hugely entertaining were they as much fun off camera as 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 they are on and was there anybody sort of pulling any pranks or sort of practical jokes on anyone Oh, like that, like like the, the the cast all they all got on like a pure house on fire. See, when I'm making a film, it's a nightmare though. Like I hardly ever get to see them or spend any time with them because I'm just always like prepping for the next day or like if it's even the weekend, I just work. Like, um, so they all they all went off and had like they all had an absolute ball. And on set, everybody was just like, particularly all the BuzzFeed stuff. It was just so funny every day. Um, it, like, like you know, Justin Long. I grew up watching Justin Long. Do you know what I mean like you know, like I love Galaxy Quest. I snuck in to see Jeepers Creepers. Like you know, like like yeah. uh, th this is a guy who I grew up watching, and uh, uh, and you know, here he is, like you know, killing it as Bryce. But you know, Trisha Black, as you said, is just like like so funny, like just even as a person, and like I uh, like like as you say, just steal scenes. Um, uh, I'm a massive fan of Andrea Bang. Like, I love Andrea Bang, and I've like, yeah. I, I don't know how many like, 
as a director, I've got like films and you know, like look books and like pro type cast and Andrea, Andrea Bangs and like so many of them. So, like, to get to work with her as well was just incredible. And Augie had for the first two weeks we shot the end first, um, because we had to burn the apartment down. And so, for two weeks, it was just him, a child, and two cats. Like, <laughs> like, like, that was all that was what he was working with, and like a computer screen. So like when he got like into like a like a room with all of them just popping off all the time, it was just it was so much fun to watch. It was so much fun to be around. Um, yeah, no, it was great. It was great. Um, just to take it um uh, down a notch in terms of uh, just getting a little bit serious at the core uh of, of the film, dude, David is 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 obviously all about cyberbullying and and you know the unpleasantness of of being trolled and. I know Elon Elon Musk has um, recently caught with some degree of controversy amongst um, you know uh, X uh, users or Twitter as I still call it. Um, do you think people like him and um, the moderators who kind of run social media uh, platforms need to do more than they currently do to protect their users, and maybe in certain circumstances for them to to hold greater accountability in certain situations? I like I think it's like it's it's what a question because it's it's a debate that's been going on for for so long right now about um and Twitter like I I, I had to leave Twitter like like about a year ago like like uh, you know um I'm many times I would read things and be like rah, 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 you know and, and be that person and I, I I knew it was me it's not just the platform it's me and it's my reaction and like. I don't know if you're ever going to stop guys like Elon Musk or like, you know, you know, whatever side of the, the political spectrum that you're on are going to have those fights and those like troll accounts and everything else are just going to, they're just there to wind people up, people that are there just to bam up everybody, you know what I mean? Like, you're never really going to stop that unless there's some sort of like, I don't know, like... um subscriptions or do you know what i mean like you know because then who's who's going to pay money to like to go and troll do you know what i mean like because it's usually some like 17 year old in their, their basement or something like that like hey um <laughs> <laughs> girls don't like me um <laughs> um and like it's 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 I, I, you don't know what to do with it I just sort of seen a parallel when with this story and a like uh, sorry like a haunting and an online trolling in the sense that yeah. like outside forces invading your own you know personal private sanctuary you know your home and regardless of like you know with with with, with the trolling you can't get away from your phone buzzing in your pocket or pinging on your screen you're not gonna get you don't even get away for that comment that comment you read an hour ago that's still burrowing away in the back of your head and you've you've thought about the, the reply back that's that's torture that's that's terrorizing you it's it's like, yeah. it's like like a haunting you know and and again like as I say I could see those parallels and you know because it was an online story I thought like that's you know the the, the you know the best way to go with it. I don't know how to tackle it like it's just you know I just think it it it, it worked well with the with the subject matter. Yeah. No, I absolutely agree. Um, I know we're almost out of time. Um, I just wanted to very, very quickly touch upon what we uh, spoke about uh, almost at the beginning, where you said you've suffered with um, sort of sleep paralysis and stuff. Was there any sort of um, cathartic uh, outcome for you making this film? <laughs> no, like actually, like because it's because it's rare. It's usually when I'm extremely exhausted. Like that's when like it happens. Um, and obviously, like when I got back from from shooting this. And like you'd have, and I'd be obviously looking forward to the edit and thinking about you know like the cut and everything else, but like and I'm just trying to get back into my sleep cycle. But there was quite a few nights where like I, I like I had this like really bad like um because uh, it's what it is 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 I'm not I'm still dreaming but I'm awake but um but I'm still dreaming and I, I, I it's not like I can see anything. It's like I can't breathe and I can't I can't call out I, I can't call out and no matter how much and and there's a press pressure on my chest. And usually my fiance is waking me up, like going like <laughs> screaming, <laughs> you're shouting and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so it's it's uh, uh, yeah, no, I probably made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, John, um, good luck uh, with the film and its release. Um, it's been an absolute uh, pleasure talking to you, and uh, hopefully we'll speak to you in the future about your next project. Oh, that'd be class, dude. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Take care. Enjoy yourself. You too, man. You've seen my son, David, haven't you? What is
as you want. Ask him yourself. Ah!